All right, everybody, welcome back. Ugly day here in New York, the weather. Um, Got to tell you a funny story what happened to me last night. But a uh, lot, lot to cover today. Today's Friday. We know what Friday is all about. It is the 16th. We're almost uh, halfway done with the month of November. And, uh, you know, looks like we're, we're having some interesting moves in the market. But first, um, I want to kind of talk about what happened to me and which is probably going to affect all of you guys too, what happened. Uh, I know it was a couple of things that made some big moves. First of all, I was in Las Vegas. I just got back last night. I don't know if you guys heard what happened regarding the weather over here. Oh my God. I mean, I got, I was supposed to land at one o'clock in the morning uh, here in New York and hopefully I'll be nice and fresh and ready to go. I am so exhausted. I walked in my house at five 30 this morning. I got stuck on the runway for three hours when we got back, because they couldn't find us a gate to get into, it has just been brutal. And and then when I walk out into the uh, into the airport, you have people like sleeping bodies everywhere. Uh, it was just a, d- d- this whole storm was a disaster. Now, with that said, can we make money off it? Everybody's like, well, how can we make money off that? Listen, there's there's always opportunities to make money on it, which uh, it could be you know shorting certain airlines, whatever it is. But what I do want to talk about is what happened in California. OK, now, first of all, my heart's to everyone uh, in California. I know we ha- we train a lot of people in California. Um, I know so- I had some people that had to put their their training on hold. So, uh, they, some lost their homes and everything. Very, very sad. And, you know, it's almost like it's almost coming down. Um, it's like that all the time. You, you, you hear about these catastrophes, these hurricanes. Now it's like, oh, oh big deal. Who cares? Right. You know, it's another another catastrophe. Well, this is pretty serious. So now I always tell you that, unfortunately, uh, catastrophes make very big opportunities. And we, we've seen, I remember Hurricane Sandy back here when we got destroyed. I think that was like the biggest one that really came out. Um, we, Home Depot, generators. I mean, anything you could, get, you, could, you could feast your eyes on. Well, can we make money on what happened in California? Guess what? Absolutely. And what it was? PCG. Uh, PCG. Now, who would ever think that you could make money on PCG? Well, look what happened. They're putting the blame on them because they're saying that they're the ones that were probably taking responsibility. The transformer that blew up or something like that that maybe caused all these, fi- um, these fires. So who knows? There could be some major lawsuits going on. I mean, it, it, you know, listen, I remember – you guys remember uh, BP – Remember they had the big oil spill and um, big, big oil spill down in the Gulf? Everybody remember that? Okay. So BP got crushed, destroyed, and they went out of their way to fix it. Now, every, meanwhile, everyone out there is like, oh, my God, the animals, the oil, things are destroyed, the industry. But sure enough, what happened? Us as traders, we shorted the hell out of the stock. We did great. And you know what? It didn't happen over just in one day. It happened over the course of several days. Remember what I always taught you guys? That I know there's a lot of people here who want to swing trade. They want to do options trade. And I always tell everybody this. If you don't know how to day trade, you can, you know, it is very difficult for you to be a very good swing trade or an options trade. And look at this PCG. If you saw what was happening when it took a big hit here and it was at, at like almost 50 and then it went. It got a gap down right here. Went from forty-five down to forty. You knew right away. I mean, if you were a swing trader, you got crushed in this stock. I mean, if you if you own the stock and not knowing it was going down and didn't get out. Meanwhile, here you are trying to benefit from all the the dividends and this and that. Yeah, well, how's that working out for you? Because if you didn't get out the day before and you wake up at thirty-five, what did it do? Going all the way down to seventeen. So. A lot of great opportunities out there, guys, um, when it comes to situations like that. So now the reason why I'm bringing it up also, it, something happened yesterday, okay, after hours. The stock went from $17, $17.50, all the way up to 26 So something came out after hours uh, regarding about that. And she's gapping up a little bit right now, but I don't know what this is all about. I, you know, she's, she was up pretty big um, but she started trending down, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. But anyway, the, the, the thing is this, is that the reason why we trade is to make money, right? There's things that, you know, you, you as, a, as a human being, you wouldn't feel bad and 
or you would never do that. Like, for example, the pot stocks, okay? Um, I just came back from Las Vegas, and they had, they had their first convention in Las Vegas. They had 25,000 people at the convention for the pot stocks, okay? And they, caught, they charged you $700 to get in. Could you imagine the guy who ran that ran that that uh that show? So anyway, it is a booming industry. Now I know a lot of us here will be like, I'm against it. That's wrong. But listen, did it stop us from start stop trading TLRY and all that stuff? You know, all the pot stocks. You know, remember as the big thing we all have to learn from a trader. And this is the big tip of the day before we go through our watch uh, watch list. The big tip of the day is this: um, you're here to make money okay and if you're not going to make it someone else is going to take it away from you all right so focus on that's why we're traders traders thrive and drool when we have you know news that comes out like this if it's bitcoin if it's you know anything you know a new pharmaceutical drug whatever it is you know a, a catastrophe you know everything but you always remember that, guys. So that's the tip of the day. So once again, PCG, how do, how do some of us here, we all feel bad what happened in California? Well, don't feel bad that you shorted PCG. Some people are like, good for you, you know? But that's what you have to do if you want to make money. So I just want to bring that up. But, um, but I'm still trying to keep saying, because by the way, if I keep talking a little out of hand, just remember, guys, I, I only, I'm, I'm, I've been up for about 36 hours so far. So I don't want to miss this coming back with you guys. All right, so let's go through some of the watch lists. So we got the PCG on the list. We already know about that one. Sono. Looks like Sono finally came out with his third quarter earnings. How do I know? You see right here, 4 o'clock, then gapped up. That's going to make the watch list. We're going to keep an eye on that. Ken, thought, Ken saying, uh, no motions in trading. That's right. You know what? The only motions that everybody here should ever have is caring about everyone in the room and making sure everyone gets successful at it and us playing, being a team effort. That is where some of the emotions might come in. My biggest emotion, I always tell you, I hate to see people lose money. That's why I love teaching you guys. I love teaching you, being successful at it. Um, but when I go to uh, do an event, like what happened, with, like going to Vegas, and you're at the Traders Expo and you see all these people, they're looking at you like they got three heads, don't know what, you know, and not like, that, you know, it make, makes you feel so bad for them. But uh, hopefully they'll be smart enough and <laughs> and get themselves educated. But in the meantime, that's right, Grant. We're all one big family. Um, going through, now, with that watch list as we have, the PCG is going to work good. Um, the Sono is going to keep an eye on it. A couple of other ones. AEZS is another one that just came up on my list. Uh, stocks got some great, great iceberg orders. You could see that on the matrix, cheap little stock stocks been, um, it's probably, it, it broke this major resistance levels right here. It's one of the reasons why I like it, but it's been a, been a real fun stock for us the last uh, couple of days. Now, one stock now, the, now this is now we're going to, we're going to go off on what we normally trade as in, you know, the big percentage gainers and losers, but let's talk about things that are taking some real major, major hits. Now, um, my brother is a, uh, is a, is a he, he trades a lot in the market, and uh, I taught him how to day trade. I mean, obviously, he can't day trade because he's running several businesses, but he's very, very he heavily in the stock market. And, you know, he just told me, you know, he, he, he thanked me the other day regarding about NVIDIA because he's been trading NVIDIA for years, and he's doing great with NVIDIA. Well, look at NVIDIA, guys. When I fixed the time frame on this, the video was phenomenal from 16, 17. Look, a $50, $60 stock. It went all the way up to about 270. He killed it. But um, did he get out of it? Nah, he just got out of it about, about four or five days ago. And he got out right around like the 220 ish, right around that pr price. And it was really bothering him that he took that big of a hit because it went down that much. But look where it is right now, 166. So the thing is, Remember what I just mentioned earlier, to be 
a good swing trader, a good options trader. You better damn well know how to day trade because you could wake up one morning and you're thinking, oh, shoot, I had the stock at 250. Now it's at 200. You know, I can't take a $50 loss. And this is swing trading, guys. And then you wake up in the morning, look what just happens right after hours, 166. So anyway, and not only that, but NVIDIA is a very, very big indicator on everything else. AMD, on the other hand, same thing. They're all taking, uh, took big hits. AMD, uh, MU, all of them. All these high-tech stocks, you could see that had some of these great, great rallies. are starting to really back off now. So a lot of great opportunities to short out there. So we're going to put those all those stocks on our watch list. All right. Now, um, anything I'm missing, guys? I did not. Uh, I did not call out. I feel that F F O M O is like a uh, P C G. Is that F M O or F M D? Feel like you, oh, you fear you're missing out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> for short. Uh, listen, the, the PCG, remember what I told you the other day about chasing a stock? Remember I said in the trading room, we made some good money on certain stocks. Um, uh, and I said, listen, if you feel like you're chasing, don't trade your usual amount of shares, trade a hell of a lot less, you know, but when you hear me say one share, you know, that's not because, oh, what the hell am I going to do with one share? No, it's about you getting into the game and being very aggressive and know what it's like to be in the game. So um, if you feel like chasing, just buy less shares of it. That's all. And that's okay. All right? All right, everybody. So um, so listen, a couple of things. Uh, today we got a big event, another open, um, another open house event. So hope all of you guys could join us. Hope we could recruit some more traders, see if they are qualified, and if we want them on our team. But before they do that, let's see if they can uh, see if they can like being in the room today and you know see what we do and go from there. In the meantime, like I said, it is Friday. Be very careful um, with the with the market. And, uh, you know, like I said, if we see anything new that pops up and when the market opens up, we'll go out there and share it with you. All right, guys? All right, everyone. Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, it's good to be back. Keep an eye on, so let's keep an eye on these, these uh, high-tech stocks and, uh, and, and this stock, this PCG. I don't know how, what's going to happen with that regarding about the buyers up in California. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.